Bay County schools and athletes have benefited from the St. Joe Foundation since Hurricane Michael as the company has made it its mission to get all athletes back on courts and fields. Today, the Bay High baseball and softball teams saying thank you to the organization ahead of their home openers. It really just means a lot to, to my board and I that we can play a significant part in getting everyone, all these kids back to back to where they really want to be. April Wilkes, the executive director of the St. Joe Foundation, taking the mound and throwing the first pitches at base baseball and softball games this evening as the Tornadoes say thank you for all the company has done. We appreciate everything they've done, everything they have done for our community. Um, we were in a bad shape here, you know, in a, in a bad position here after the hurricane. Um, we didn't have any fences. We didn't have any, any, any bleachers. We, you know, our scoreboards were down. Um, it was it was bad shape, just much like the rest of the community. Wilkes, a former softball player, said it meant a lot for her to be able to celebrate with the athletes today. This community, I moved here in 1999, and this community has become my family, uh, my home, and it's definitely, um, re it's just so rewarding to be in the position that I'm in. The Tornadoes, one of many teams benefiting from the St. Joe Company's generosity. Wilkes said seeing the student athletes take the field tonight is the reason why the foundation is dedicated to giving back to the community. Just the team being together and that, you know, they're not, they're looking forward to playing. They're not sad about what has happened. It looks so much better. Everything's new and they're proud to be out here. And in all, the St. Joe Foundation has donated $55,000 to Bay High School. That money being split between classrooms, a new softball field scoreboard, and a new baseball field scoreboard and windscreen. They donated $3.5 million to the community in 2019 alone.